May this year has got absolutely tons of bank holidays and while I'm on my weight loss journey to try and lose weight, I've actually set myself um, a bit of a goal to try and lose my three get well get my three stone award within May um, and can like at least lose each week. So I'm heading into the bank holiday weekend with a determined mind, planning the hell of out, um, out of it and try my best to stick to it regardless of what social events come up. So let's watch how that went. Bank holiday weekend, always like weekends are a challenge anyway, even more so because it's bank holiday weekend and even more so because we are going to Akasha and then we are going to near Ripon. I don't know where actually we're going because one of his friends has bought a new van. So we're going there for the day. Blooming heck, this week is going to be rather challenging. Let's see how today unfolds. We have arrived in Wakefield at the Classic Car Show. I'm saying a Classic Car Show. Oh my God, look at that. I've ripped my um, thing in. I didn't even know. Oh, God, I'm out for Dana. Look, right, Tramp. Anyway, we have arrived for this Classic Car Show. It's in the centre of Wakefield. It's raining. Um, I've now jumped in the driver's side of Oliver's van because there is just nowhere to park. It is literally a load of like vans, well, a load of like cars and motorbikes. I'm saying a load of, I don't think there's that many. Um, parked up. There is music playing, which is, I'm sure he'll have a lovely time, but I'm staying in the van. I have, however, for my day prepped, I'm, I've got my water. So I'm keeping on plan. I've also there packed myself two salads. Um, that's just salad with cottage cheese and salt and pepper. I have got a shite ton of fruit. So I've packed them up in little boxes. Um, I did all the prep this morning. I've got hot water and my herbal tea. I've also brought myself some coffees, some nice cups. I have put high five bars in. I've packed Oliver up a sandwich, well, two sandwiches, and I am prepped for staying on plan. So this week, I, well, it was Oliver's birthday on Thursday. So we went out and had a Chinese. That was weird. Day. I have tried to vow because I've now lost two and a half stern. I'm trying to vow to eat all this week speedy and protein foods. So speedy foods are all like your fruit and veg that are supposed to help if you eat them the low calories high density so they're supposed to speed up your weight loss because you're fuller for longer so i'm trying my best to eat corn chicken and basin eggs cottage cheese salad and fruit and veg and i'm trying so hard to eat tons of that and pea foods are your proteins so sorry i've just said that wrong my proteins which for me is like my eggs and my corn chicken pieces um i've got a stir fry for when i get home so it's a fast meal for if i'm starving today's plan is to go up to karen and craig's our friends they've got a new van so we're going oliver just rang and cut it off the as plan is sorry i was saying to go up to the van go and have a look around their new van spend the afternoon with them catching up because um, we've not seen them in a while. I'm quite looking forward to that. Um, then they have booked to have a pub meal at half past five. I, The menu and stuff that they serve up. And I don't know how they're cooking it and things. I just think it just rang me twice and has cut off my recording. It really does mind it when it does that. Because he's out doing what he wants. He says there's more cars than what it looks like. So he's obviously up for having a nice time. Um what we're saying oh so the pub food and things i have no control of that at all um and my thought was if i pack myself two salads up and loads of fruit and things that are on plan i've kind of removed the need of desperation because they're not eating while half five so i'm not going to get home while seven or eight o'clock tonight i've just removed the the risk of me not having something that is okay to eat this all makes me feel proper psychotic and like I am taking it too seriously. Genuinely, if there's something that I want to eat and I want to cheat and have a cheat day or point it in or sin it in, whatever you want to say, 
then I'm going to do so. However, today I'm just not feeling it. I'm not, it's not food that I particularly majorly enjoy. I'd be eating it because I was there and if I'd not prepared myself, it'd just be food that I'd be eating just because I'm eating it. And I don't want to do it like that. I'm really enjoying eating healthy and having nice things. So in the car, I have brought, while he's at the show, I am going to read my book while he walks down. I'm a little bit sad it's as rubbish as what it is and we're in there parking because I was going to use this as an excuse to up my body magic. On that note, I have nearly completed my week three. So I'm going into my last week and I've done it just this week. I've done rubbish because I've worked really late um so today i've got to do 15 minutes and then that's week three completed and i've just got one more week of body magic bronze which i'm quite proud of myself actually oh god i look such a tramp oh god why have i put this on to go out it's so annoying um yeah overall i'm 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 doing all right yes to the rest of the day and staying on plan and being organized fail to prepare to prepare is prepared to fail is what i'm going with today so I am going to survive this bank holiday weekend and I am desperately, and I mean desperately, trying to get to losing three stern in the next two weeks. Oh, love you, man. Okay. Oh, oh. So I'm having a lovely time catching up with my friends and things. And this is sheer commitment. They're booked in at half past five for something to eat. And near here I am, having my salad. And I'm having my fruit. I am sticking on this plan, whether it kills me. I'm drinking Diet Coke, which is fine. I prefer water, but things aren't always as you want them. So uh, I'm going to survive. If this kills me feels really unsociable and weird i'm gonna be honest it's bizarre that do you know like doing this diet for me to stick to it and not eat out i feel quite unsociable now um it is i don't like if i'm gonna be honest i prefer my salad to eat rather than eating out i've got the same as what i had before so i've put some corn in loads and loads of salad and cottage cheese and salt and pepper and to be honest, it's really nice. So uh, I'm not against doing this, but I've just had to like time it and walk away from a group of people that are going to sit and have something to eat, which is slightly bizarre. Um, however, if I'm going to get to that three stone mark, sacrifice has got to be made on it and all that. And I've got loads to lose and I'm going on holiday. So wonderful. I am now home and back at work. I survived the bank holiday weekend. Um, I didn't succumb. I didn't have anything that I shouldn't have had. So I stacked, uh, well, blah, blah, blah. I stuck to drinking Diet Coke while I was there like I planned to. I had my salads and my fruit salad. I were unsociable and I went and sat in the car. I sat with the group of people that we was with while they all ate a starter and main meal. Um, the food looked absolutely beautiful, if I'm going to be honest. At one point, I had Oliver going, just have a nibble, just have something to eat. And in the end, I just had to really stay and just say, no, leave me alone. We didn't end up coming home while a lot later than what we planned to. So I don't think we got back till about half past nine. I'm not going to lie, by that time I was a little bit hungry and I've missed having, you know, like a, a warm meal, especially because I'd sat around everybody else eating. I think it makes you hungrier. I shifted off the Diet Coke and went to soda water and it just makes me feel a little bit empty, if that makes sense. I can't say that I was particularly hungry, um, but while everybody was eating, it just felt a bit weird and it made me feel like empty and as though I wanted a proper meal. So when we got home... I quickly threw together, I think I had a, oh, I had um, egg fried rice uh, with a little bit of my corn chicken that I've got. Um, on reflection, I'm actually really, really proud of myself. I 
I didn't crave anything. I was strong and stuck to my guns. I think everybody around you when you, you're dieting and you're not eating the same as everybody else, like eating is such a social thing and this is, nobody's said anything you know, that's wrong. It's not that you feel badly pressured. But I don't know, it made me realise like how social eating is and how maybe if I want to socially eat with people, I'm going to have to really plan it in. However, on that day, I just wasn't, I weren't bothered about eating out. I'm really enjoying eating salads and I loved what I had. Um, I enjoyed the time I spent away. It was fine for me not eating. I just felt there were like pressure from other people because they almost felt guilty eating around me and me not eating with them. Even though I've been and had something to eat and had nothing but say, no, I'm fine. I'm doing it like I'm not bothered. I've what you want. There's a bit of an awkwardness around it as well. Um... But it's it's really important to me that I do stick to this and that I do what I want and that I'm happy with it. And if I want a cheat meal in a day off, I'll have one. If I don't, then I, I don't want to feel forced to eat it because that's why I'm overweight. Because I obviously feel forced to eat and I'm eating the wrong things and I'm quite social. And that stuff has needs to change. I'd like to start making plans of doing things socially that aren't based fully around food. That would be a lovely um i again I, like my reflection this weekend is i'm actually really proud of myself i'm really really proud of myself i think that was a hard challenge this bank holiday weekend has been really difficult we've done a lot of things and a lot of things based around food um and i've been absolutely fine i feel really determined i feel really strong i don't feel any thinner I don't feel like I'm seeing the benefits, but I suppose this is more of a long-term change and you've got to have that dedication and commitment without actually seeing them short-term gains. So here I am and that's what I've done. Just really happy with myself. Um, I can't believe I've done it, if I'm going to be honest. It's really weird, isn't it? I am desperately trying to aim for that three stone in two weeks. Um, I get weighed on Thursdays. This is going to be my first week and my first weigh-in. And I really, really could do with losing at least three and a half pounds. My weight loss has really slowed down. So I can't imagine I'm going to quite achieve it. I have achieved my week three body magic. I'm heading into week four. I'm going to keep doing that. Um, my only thing about me setting myself aims like that is that I do feel a bit disappointed when I don't reach it and it's not a great place to be. Maybe I need to give myself a bit of slack and not do that. But I have ate loads of speed food this week, like tons, like my whole meals have been all based around it. Um, I've drunk loads of water. I've not been having milk in my tea. I've now swapped over to a lot more herbal teas. So it's not as calorific for me. Um, and it, obviously then you get the benefits as well. Uh, whatever herbs you're drinking, you do have health benefits too. So fingers crossed that that was all worth it. And actually, as a non-scales and a non-weight loss kind of thing, I am actually really proud of myself. And it kind of was worth it to show that I'm strong enough to do it. So think thin, hey? Think thin. <laughs>